Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate recognizes that heterogeneous environments are a reality for many organizations. Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate helps these organizations meet the challenge of managing teams that span multiple platforms. Eclipse is arguably the most common development tool that organizations will use for their non-Windows development. Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate enables developers to continue to work with Eclipse, yet still connect to the team project that they are part of. This is all done in a very seamless manner. Eclipse developers will find they are using a very familiar user interface. Everything is based on a perspective, just like they are used to in Eclipse. Amongst the list of perspectives we can choose from is one for Team Foundation Server. The perspective we're working with opens up the Team Explorer for us. We can use it to query for bugs that are assigned against us. This type of integration enables project managers to define user stories, tasks, and project plans using the platform and tool of their choice, knowing that the other members of their team will have access to this data, no matter what platform they might be using. Once the project has been set up, the logical first step for most teams will be to check in source code. Let's switch to our Java perspective to do that. Eclipse developers will be pleased to see that Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate integrates very tightly with Eclipse. Team Foundation Server, the ALM aspect of Visual Studio 2010, is exposed just like any other version control provider. Everything Eclipse developers know about sharing a project applies to Team Foundation Server. Instead of using CVS or SVN, developers can literally just choose Team Foundation Server to add their code to the project shared by the rest of their team. From here on out, the steps are very similar to what you would do to add source files from Visual Studio 2010. Other developers working with Eclipse who want to enlist in the project have a very few familiar user experience as well. These developers can work with Team Explorer and import a project of their choice from Team Foundation Server into their workspace. This is fundamentally the same kind of operation Eclipse developers would perform if they were working with any other version control provider. At this point, we have joined the project and we can start working. Eclipse developers enjoy the same rich environment that their Visual Studio counterparts have. For example, work items are integrated right into Eclipse, just like they are integrated right into Visual Studio. The streamlined process that Visual Studio developers enjoy is also available to Eclipse developers. For example, suppose that as a developer, we are fixing this bug. When we check in our code, we have the same integrated check-in dialog that Visual Studio developers see. This dialog box is integrated with our work items, so we can find the bug that we are fixing with this check-in. When we do the association between our bug and this check-in, this information is stored into Team Foundation Server. Let's switch over to our Windows environment now and assume the role of a program manager who is responsible for this project. Suppose that we are interested in the progress of this particular bug. We can simply refresh the bug and see that this has been resolved. We can even see the change set that was used to fix the issue. Just like any .NET change, we can look at the details behind that change set and see exactly which files were affected. As a Visual Studio developer, we will probably not look at these Java files, but being able to perform this type of traceability without adding overhead to our developers is very important for our project managers responsible for this project. Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate breaks down the barriers between teams, whether those barriers involve geography, roles, or as we've seen here, platforms.